What is a polariscope? A polariscope is typically used during honey judging. And judges will bring one of these to the table and as each entry comes to them they will stick it in the polariscope with the light on and it has two polarizing films and they can look right through the glass into the jars now when you're submitting your honey for honey judging what you want is a very clear honey, something that's clear and bright, has nothing on the bottle, everything is perfect. When you look through the polariscope, you find every little detail because it's going to make everything in the honey, uh, if it's dust particles, crystallization, air bubbles, wax, or really anything else that happens to fall in, hair, dog hair, human hair, insects, they will all pop up when you look through. Judges will also use a flashlight to look in sometimes if they don't have their polariscope, but the polariscope really makes everything in the honey pop. Now, when you're setting up your honey in order to enter it into a honey judging competition, some of the things you will end up doing is polishing your glass before you put honey in it to make sure there's no smudges, marks, anything that the judge can find. You'll also clean out the inside as best you can if it's with um, a silk cloth, extra sanitization. What you're going to do when you want to submit your entry to a honey judging competition is make sure, one, your jar is completely clean of any sort of particles inside outside then when you're pouring the honey you're gonna put it through two or three different filters if you can start out with a larger filter and then smaller and smaller as you go into the jar it's going to create a particle free environment that the honey is entering when the judges put your honey in here they're gonna look straight through and they will see Every little detail, everything will pop that's in there. If it's crystallization, dust, pollen, air bubbles, wax, insects, hair, all of that will show and you'll get marked off uh, points if it's in there. Now I'm gonna quickly show you what ours looks like. I took two that are no good. But keep in mind when you're making honey to sell, you're not putting it through multi, multiple filters. You're trying to keep the pollen particles in there so that, you know, your customer can, can have it and benefit from it. You don't want to filter out everything. Uh, you do want to keep the insect body parts out and hair out of there, but uh, you just have to be careful when you do that. So let's take a look at the honey. So as you can tell from looking at both of these honeys, there is a little discoloration, but other than that, I mean, for just being poured like you would serve it to anybody, not for a honey judging competition, it doesn't look too bad. This one definitely has multiple layers, which is not good and I wouldn't serve it to anybody. And now you can see kind of what I was talking about every little bubble is on display in there you can see crystallization every little bit you can see it is very hazy and there's a clear line Two clear lines do not look good. So I would not serve this to anybody. You can 
let's see this one definitely has crystallization going on and I would not serve that to anybody either thank you for watching I hope you learned something about a polariscope very basic information there but as you develop your beekeeping skills you will see these and you're, you're gonna know what it is and you're gonna impress your friends if you would like to build one just like this Look up John W. White Jr. He's got designs online, and they're very, very easy to make exactly what you have here. You're going to need some glass, some polarized film, wood, and that's all she wrote. Put it together, and you're good to go. All right. Have a good day.